This is third class on principle of mathematical induction. Till now, we learned the definition of principle of mathematical induction and we practiced six problems. In this class, we will do another three problems. Have patience, watch this video till the end. Let's begin the class. You see this statement, we need to prove this statement. Prove this statement by using principle of mathematical induction. To prove principle of mathematical induction, first, which statement we are trying to prove, we will take that statement as P of n. You observe here, which statement I am trying to prove by using principle of mathematical induction, I taken that statement as P of n. You need to prove two things. First one, P of 1 is true. How we prove P of 1 is true? True. As you are familiar with these problems now, this is the seventh problem. You see here, I directly written P of 1 is true. How we prove P of 1 is true? First, we will take LHS. In left hand side, you take the nth term, n into n plus 1. In this, wherever n is there, there you put 1. Then what you will get? 1 into 1 plus 1. That is 1 into 2. That is 2. Left hand side, we got 2 when we put n equal to 1. Now you take right hand side expression n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 3. In this, wherever n is there, there you write 1. 1 into 1 plus 1, 2 into 1 plus 2, 3 divided by 3. This 3, 3 will get cancelled. What is remaining in the numerator? 1 into 2. 1 into 2 is 2. So, LHS equal to RHS. We got this because we put n equal to 1. From this, we can say that P of 1 is true. Okay. Now, first part is over. First part is over. Now, second part. Second part. What is second part? First, we assume P of k is true. By assuming P of k is true, we will prove that P of k plus 1 is true. You see here, I assumed P of k is true and I written what is P of k. How you will get P of k? In this P of n, in this statement, wherever n is there, there you write k, then you will get P of k. In almost all, all the problems, after this step, we will add a term on both sides. What term we will add on both sides? In this P of k, you consider this kth term. What is this kth term? k into k plus 1. In this term, wherever k is there, there you write k plus 1. You see here, in this term, wherever k is there, there you write k plus 1. Then what you will get? You will get k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1. That is k plus 2. So, you add k plus 1 into k plus 2 on both sides. You observe here, for this p of k, I added k plus 1 into k plus 2 on both sides. Actually, in the second part, what we are trying? By assuming p of k is true, we are trying to prove that p of k plus 1 is true. While proving p of k plus 1 is true, you need to keep in your mind, what is p of k plus 1? You see, what is this? This is p of k. What is P of k plus 1? In this statement, wherever k is there, if you write k plus 1, you will get P of k plus 1. As it is necessary, you need to know what is P of k plus 1. So, I will write what is P of k plus 1 here. You see here, in this P of k, wherever k is there, there I written k plus 1. You see here, in place of k, I written k plus 1. k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2. In place of k, I written k plus 1 k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2, k plus 1 plus 2 is k plus 3. It is important, you must know what is p of k plus 1. Okay, now come back to the solution. You listen this point carefully. You assumed p of k is true. You are trying to prove p of k plus 1 is true. As you assumed p of k is true, this statement is true. This statement is true. For this statement, whatever you add on both sides, what you will get, that is also true. That means this is true. Only point is we need to prove that this is nothing but P of k plus 1. You see here left hand side part is already LHS of P of k plus 1. This left hand side part is already LHS of P of k plus 1. If you want you can check. Now only the thing is needed by doing little bit of simplification of in this RHS we are trying to prove that this is RHS of P of k plus 1. That means after doing little bit of simplification here, you are trying to get this expression. Okay. Start taking LCM. What is LCM here? 3 is the LCM. What you will get in the numerator? K into K plus 1 into K plus 2 plus 3 into K plus 1 into 
k plus 2. Do not multiply the things. If possible to take anything common, you take common. You see in the numerator, you observe this term. In this, k plus 1, k plus 2 is there. You observe this term. In this also, k plus 1, k plus 2 is there. So what you do, you take k plus 1, k plus 2 common. If you take k plus 1, k plus 2 common, what is remaining here? Remaining one is k. Here k is remaining. You see this, here if I take k plus 1, k plus 2 common, what is remaining? 3 is remaining. You can observe here what we got. We got RHS of P of K plus 1. I hope you are understanding. So, what happened here? I will write LHS part also to get some clarity. 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus and so on plus K plus 1 into K plus 2. What is this? This is P of K plus 1. You can observe. As we know what is P of K, we can easily identify this is P of K plus 1 or not. You see this statement, this statement both are same. See, as we assume this is true, whatever we add on both sides, what you will get that is also true. That means this statement is true. What is this statement? This statement is P of K plus 1. Therefore, P of K plus 1 is true. So, what is the conclusion we can write? Therefore, by principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true. I hope you are understanding, right? What is P of n? P of n is the given statement. That means given statement is true. Hence, we proved this by using principle of mathematical induction. See this next question. We need to prove this statement by using principle of mathematical induction. To prove this statement by using principle of mathematical induction, first, which statement we are trying to prove, we will take that statement as P of n. You observe here which statement we are trying to prove. I consider that statement as P of n. Now we need to prove two things. First one, we will prove that P of 1 is true. You observe here, I proved P of 1 is true. How to prove P of 1 is true? First, you take for n equal to 1 this left hand side part of this statement. This nth term you consider in left hand side 1 by 2 power n. In this, in place of n, you write 1. 1 divided by 2 power 1, that is nothing but 1 by 2. So, LHS is 1 by 2. Now, RHS. In this statement, you consider RHS. 1 minus 1 divided by 2 power n. In this, where n is there, there you write 1. So, what you will get? 1 minus 1 divided by 2 power 1, that is 2 only. So, 1 minus 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. LHS is 1 by 2, RHS is also 1 by 2. So, we can write LHS equal to RHS. From this, what we can say? We can say that P of 1 is true. After proving P of 1 is true, second part. What is the second part? We will assume P of K is true and we need to prove P of K plus 1 is true. Now, I will assume P of K is true and I will write what is P of K. You observe here, I assumed P of K is true and I written P of K. How you will get this P of K? In this P of N, in place of N, you write K. In this statement, in place of N, you write K. Look here, 1 divided by 2 power K equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 2 power K. In almost all, all the problems, after this step, we will add a term on both sides. That is important. How to find that term? You see here, the kth term is there. Na? What is there? 1 divided by 2 power k is there. You observe here. 1 by 2 power k. In this term, where k is there, there you write k plus 1. In this, in place of k, you write k plus 1. What you will get? You will get 2 power k plus 1. You add, you add 1 divided by 2 power k plus 1 on both sides. You observe here. What I did? For this P of k, I added 1 divided by 2 power k plus 1 on both sides. See, this is P of k. Na? In this, in place of k, if you write k plus 1, you will get P of k plus 1. So, it is important to keep in your mind what is P of k plus 1. So, I will write what is P of k plus 1 here. You observe here. In this P of k, wherever k is there, there I written k plus 1. This is P of k plus 1. Okay. Now, come to the point. What is the second task? By assuming P of K is true, you are trying to prove P of K plus 1 is true. So, first I assumed P of K is true and I written what is P of K. This statement is true. For this, I added a term on both sides. As this is true, for this, if I add a term on both sides, whatever I will get, that is also true. 
After adding a term on both sides, you can observe this left hand side part. This is LHS of P of K plus 1 that you can identify here. Whatever you got here, that is LHS of P of K plus 1. As this statement is true, what we are trying now, by simplifying this right hand side part expression, I am trying to get this RHS of P of K plus 1. So, you just start simplifying this right hand side part. 1 minus 1 divided by 2 power k plus 1 divided by, you look here, this is of the form a power m plus n. What is a power m plus n formula? a power m into a power n. 2 power k plus 1 can be written as 2 power k into 2. That equal to 1 minus. You see here, I can take 1 by 2 power k common in both the terms. So, you take minus 1 by 2 power k common. So, here 1 is remaining, plus of minus minus, 1 by 2 power k into 1 is 1 by 2 power k, minus, minus of minus, plus. As you taken 1 by 2 power k common, what is remaining? Remaining is 1 by 2, okay. That equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 2 power k into 1 minus 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 only, okay. That equal to 1 minus 1 divided by, you see here, as base are equal, power should be added now. 2 power k into 2 power 1 is what? That is 2 power k plus 1. You look here what we got. We got RHS of P of k plus 1. So, let me finish this full statement. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus and so on plus 1 divided by 2 power k plus 1 equal to. I got this statement. This statement is nothing but P of k plus 1. See, as we assumed this statement is true, after adding a term, whatever you will get, that is also true. That means this is also true. What is this? This is nothing but P of k plus 1. So, I can write now P of k plus 1 is true. Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true. So, as we proved two things. First, we proved P of 1 is true. By assuming P of k is true, we proved P of k plus 1 is true. So, therefore, by principle of mathematical induction, we can say that P of n is true. You see this problem, we need to prove this statement by using principle of mathematical induction. Which statement we are trying to prove, we will take that statement as P of n. You see this, I considered given statement as P of n. To prove this statement by principle of mathematical induction, we need to prove two things. First one, we will prove P of 1 is true. Let's see how we prove P of 1 is true. You see here, to prove P of 1 is true, in the left hand side part, you take this nth term. In this, wherever n is there, there you write 1. See here, 3 into 1, that is 3. 3 minus 1 into 3 into 1, that is 3. 3 plus 2. So, you are what you will get? So, what you will get here? 1 divided by 2 into 5, that is 1 by 10. LHS is 1 by 10. Now, RHS. You consider this right hand side part. N divided by 6N plus 4. In this, wherever N is there, there you write 1. 1 divided by 6 into 1 is 6. 6 plus 4. 1 divided by 6 plus 4. That is 1 by 10. LHS is also 1 by 10. RHS is also 1 by 10. So, what we say? Therefore, we say that P of 1 is true. So, first part is completed. What is second part? In second part, we assume P of k is true and we will prove P of k plus 1 is true. Now, first I will assume P of k is true. You look here, I assumed P of k is true. Now, I will write P of k. How you will get P of k? In the statement P of n, wherever n is there, there you write k. In this statement, in place of n, if you write k, then you will get P of k. You see here, this is P of k. In this statement, in place of n, I written k, so that I got P of k. In almost all, all the problems, after this step, we will add a term on both sides. What term will add on both sides? You observe here, you take this term. You see here, in this, wherever k is there, there I written k plus 1. Now, you do little bit of simplification. 3k plus 3 minus 1. That is 3k plus 3 minus 1 is 2. 
okay into 3k plus 3 plus 2 that is 3k plus 5 so we will add this term 1 divided by 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 5 on both sides you observe here what i did for this p of k i added this term on both sides okay so what is our intention by assuming p of k is true by assuming this is true you are trying to prove p of k plus 1 is true what is p of k plus 1 you see this is p of k now in this in place of k if you write k plus 1 you will get p of k plus 1 it is important you need to keep in your mind what is p of k plus 1 that's why i'll write p of k plus 1 here how you will get p of k plus 1 in this p of k in place of k you write k plus 1 you see here i written p of k plus 1 how you got this p of k plus 1 in this statement wherever k is there there you write k plus 1 then you will get this okay now come to the main point as you assumed p of k is true this statement is true for this statement if you add a term on both sides whatever you will get that is also true that means this statement is true at this point if you observe this left hand side part this is lhs of p of k plus 1 this is lhs of p of k plus 1 now only the thing is by simplifying this right hand side part you are trying to get this rhs of this part so what i'll do you just start simplifying this you look here i'll simplify like this k divided by here you can take a two common take two common what you will get you will get 3k plus 2 plus 1 divided by 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 5 okay now you see this first term in this 1 divided by 3k plus 2 is there in this also 1 divided by 3k plus 2 is there so you take 1 divided by 3k plus 2 common then you see here what is present here k divided by 2 is present plus here if you take 1 divided by 3k plus 2 common what is remaining here 1 divided by 3k plus 5 is remaining okay that equal to 1 divided by 3k plus 2 into now take the lcm what you will get lcm lcm is 2 into 3k plus 5 what you will get in the numerator multiply k into 3k plus 5 that is that is 3k square plus 5k plus 2 i hope you are understanding k into 3k plus 5 is 3k square plus 5k plus 2 into 1 is 2 now that equal to 1 divided by 3k plus 2 into you see here 3k square plus 5k plus 2 3k square plus 5k plus 2 you split the middle term 3k square plus this 5k can be written as 3k plus 2k plus 2 okay so you take 3k common from first two terms what you will get you will get k plus 1 plus here you take 2 common what you will get k plus 1 okay so you can take k plus 1 common if you take k plus 1 common what you will get you will get 3k plus 2 so what you understand here 3k square plus 5k plus 2 can be written as k plus 1 into 3k plus 2 so here 3k square plus 5k plus 2 i'll write as k plus 1 into 3k plus 2 whole divided by 2 into 3k plus 5 you see this 3k plus 2 3k plus 2 will get cancelled what is remaining remaining part is k plus 1 divided by multiply with 2 2 into 3k that is 6k plus 2 into 5 10 please observe this part what you got at the end you got rhs of p of k plus 1 you see here k plus 1 k plus 1 divided by 6k plus 10 i hope you are understanding what is happened here after adding this term this is lhs of p of k plus 1 after simplifying this i identified that this is rhs of p of k plus 1 so you write this left hand side part also you see here a left hand side part also i written try to understand what i am saying what is the second part by assuming p of k is true you are trying to prove p of k plus 1 is true as you assumed p of k is true this statement is true this is true for this statement after adding a term on both sides whatever you will get that is also true 
as this is true as we added same term on both sides whatever you will get this is also true i just simplified this right hand side part and at the end i realized that this is nothing but p of k plus 1 as this is true this is also true what is this this is p of k plus 1 therefore p of k plus 1 is true therefore by principle of mathematical induction p of n is true hence we proved the given statement by using principle of mathematical induction